between these two squads as we get set to drop the puck in game number four of this series tonight. Both teams are lined up and we are set to get things going. on the play. McDavid's known to blow past defenders with speed, which is his real zone ability. Kopitar is a big name for this club, and they rely on him to generate offense. I'm expecting one of these players to make a big difference for their team before the game is over. Back to you guys. Great save by Talbot. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. From the right side and up the middle. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. They put the puck into the offensive end. Slides the puck across to McDavid. Los Angeles looks to get things going down with the puck. Unable to reach that one. Quick feed to Nurse. Moves the puck over to CeCe. And he takes the feed. And reads the play perfectly and picks up the pass. Shot! Big stop right there! Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. The Oilers take possession off the face off. And that caroms off a body in traffic. Nice zone entry from the right side. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Here's a short pass to Yanmar. And he stops that cannon there. Wow. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. Oh, the poke check. What a read by the goaltender. Edmonton's won the draw. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. The Oilers take it from the side. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. He reads his play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. And a stick breaks that up. And the puck's kicked free. Unloads it, and that goes off a of body. LA's got the puck against the boards. Quick pass to Dubois. And he keeps possession. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. Good job tangling up his opponent here. That knocks him off the puck. Broken up with the stick at the defensive end. Turned aside with the glove by Talbot. McDavid's won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. Edmonton's got it now. He scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. We well, got to give some credit to the shooter here, James. A quick release shot makes it difficult for the goalie to get set to position. And when you're a little late, you can get a piece of it, but it still winds up in the back of the net. The Oilers were looking for a good start in this one, and they have certainly accomplished that with the first goal of the game just minutes in. Well, you know they would have talked about making sure that they established some presence and some pace in the game, in particular in the opening frame, James. But to get up a 1-0 lead on your opponent just minutes into the game, that is a fantastic start. Turn that one aside. Way too much congestion blocks that. My goodness, this has been a pressure-filled shift here. Dreisaitl's tape-to-tape zone ability means he can complete those firm, crisp passes that help keep the play moving. He's so effective at distributing the pucks and setting up his teammates. Puck scooped up by Mubarare. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Moves with the puck in the corner. It's in the back of the net! He scores! 
They're striking quickly. Two goals in 50 seconds, James. Anybody who just got up for a quick snack is probably looking at the scoreboard going, what happened? Well, don't blink. The game can change in an instant. Absolutely. Oh, James, let's have a look at this goal again. I mean, it's just a desperation play as he's stumbling and just stays on his feet long enough to be able to get his stick on that puck and make a glorious pass to a player who's able to finish it. Listen, you got to out-battle, you got to out-will, and that's just pure strength to be able to stay on your feet. Los Angeles wins the draw in the neutral zone. Great heads-up play in the neutral zone by Janmar. Los Angeles has it near the wall. Moore's last play was a tough one, James. He loses his balance, which makes it difficult for him to corral the puck and get it off with precision. But he makes the play. And he slides it quickly to Kane. Puck picked up by Mubarari. Takes the feed. And he caught him when he wasn't looking. What a hit! Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. Dishes it to Moore. And he takes the dish. Quick shot! Rings the air! The Kings are trying to claw their way back into this game, and that's not how you do it. When you have an opportunity to execute, you have to find the back of the net. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Oilers have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. The Kings win it. Taken by CeCe. Right through, centering into the offensive zone. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Here they come on the attack. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Shots to take the lead here in the first. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. And the puck's booted away. The Oilers gain possession. Los Angeles has possession of the puck in the offensive end. Skinner's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Hyman's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, what an effort giving up the body there. Harry's got it into offensive territory. Quick feed down low. Here's a chance in front, and it's blocked. Takes the feed from the wing. Jumped in, allowing for the ball. He gets some fresh legs out there. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Another stick infraction, and you know that coaches don't like this one. A product of not being in good position, reaching, and then taking the trip because you weren't moving your feet. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Los Angeles moves ahead with the puck. Off a stick and they can't connect. Penalty coming up here as the officials all over that slash. Here comes the call. Well, he was kind of using his stick as a weapon there, James. He was hacking and whacking, and these are the types of calls that need to be made because they can result in an injury. Los Angeles has a five-on-three with loads of time to spare. Five-on-three, you know your opponent has big bodies with long sticks in the middle of the ice. You have to find a way to move them. How do you do that? You either shoot the puck or you move it. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Great reach with the stick by Fiala. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Quick feed to Dowdy. And that shot dies in traffic. 
The Oilers take it along the wall. And he denied that opportunity. Well, he was dialed in to make the save with his mask, James, but I don't know how dialed in he's going to be now. He might be a little fuzzy. Takes it to the net. McDavid's penalty has expired, and he'll join the penalty kill as they remain shorthanded. And they get the puck out of harm's way. The Kings don't have time on their side with this power play running out. Deharnay is almost out of the box. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. That's a great job by the PK to have the ability to score. Send the rookie takes his first playoff goal. Well, it's all important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Even I could have scored off that unbelievable feed, James. He's just able to corral that pass and put it in the back of the net. LA's counterpunched here in the first period, and they're right back into it. Well, yeah, can look at the game in different bunches, and this one is certainly going to mean something. Resetting and finding a way to create some much-needed offense. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Morris tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. That's the third call of the period, and it really looks like they weren't dialed in or ready to play in this game, and preparation is key, otherwise things like this happen. The Kings once again send out their power play unit. A power play then can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. Shots the puck away. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. They get it out of the defensive end. Takes a shot. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. McLeod's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. LA's got possession here in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Moore. Moves into the slot. What a chance, but can't finish! Well, you gotta make good on a chance like this. This is deflating, James. You don't even put it on the net and test the goaltender. That's a huge miss. Great use of the stick at center by Deneau. Moves it to McLeod. Picks off the feed. Playing with confidence is one thing, but then you can be overconfident as well, James. Especially when you have a lead. You want to make sure you're in good positioning to be able to backtrack and help out your defense. The Kings get a hold of the puck along the boards. And that's just out of reach. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Both sides back to even strength. A great effort by the penalty killers there. Well, that's a missed opportunity, James. An opportunity to get the equalizer on the power play. Now down by one at even strength. They're going to have to find a way to muster up some energy. That one was deflating. Quick pass to Moore. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Moore is so difficult to stop in tight, and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. Broken up by Mubarari. Stopped by the goaltender. Passes the puck over to Turcotte. They've got the defense outnumbered. Poked away. Edmonton's lugging the puck behind their own net. Here they come up along the wing. Gets the puck in deep. Dreisaitl has been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. Getting into the later stages of this period, Edmonton's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Nugent Hopkins wins the draw on their own end. Slides it to Eckholm. Gains the zone on the left wing. Moves it quickly over to Yanmark. Back at the point, they set it up. Taken along the wall by Nugent Hopkins. Here's a rocket a shot. Made the save on the play. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. The Oilers are holding down the lead here late in this first period. They have looked really good offensively so far. 
Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Great poke check on the reach. Quick feed to Nugent Hopkins. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Nugent Hopkins. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Here's a chance! Oh, I thought he had it! What a chance there! Oh, James, I thought he connected on that one. He's going to be disappointed, but he's all around the net. Here's a chance in front. Now a quick pass to Kavrikov. Just slide into the net. Hey, hey, stop! to their game tonight, James. I mean, it has been an uphill battle as they found themselves down in this game. But they continue to battle, to chip away. They were urgent on the puck, and now they find themselves getting the equalizer. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. LA's won it. Puck grabbed by Spence. Takes the knock, but he's still got the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Dubois. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Down the left wing, they take the zone. Big save. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Just here in the late stages of this frame, we are all tied up in this one. The Kings win the defensive zone faceoff. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Turns it away. The Kings take it across the line. Fans screaming for a shot before the buzzer. Fire. And that's picked up in the defensive end. And with the buzzer, that puts the ball on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next right here. Stay warm and stylish at the rink with our specially priced item tonight, our game team scarf, priced at just $10. Hurry into our main store as supplies are limited. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Looking for that go-ahead goal here as the play is underway in the second. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment? Los Angeles needs to find more energy if they're going to break this tie, James. I mean, they haven't generated a ton of shots, and they also haven't driven the paint. They have an aggressive attack mentality. That's what they need if they want to get into this game. The Kings gain the zone. Huge steal in his own end. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. well he's going to be happy about that one, James. He had his first goal of the season. You know, he's trying to duplicate what was an outstanding season last year. He won the Ted Lindsay Award for the most outstanding player during the regular season. I mean, it's a true testament to a player when it's voted on by their peers. Edmonton's gone up by one here in the second period. Now, it's been a lot of hard work and heavy lifting to get to this point, just to get that one goal lead, James. Not only do they want to hold on to it, they want to extend it now. Takes the pass. Moves it over to Dowdy. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Dreisaitl. McDavid's got it in the corner. Talbot's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Edmonton's been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. Los Angeles has won the faceoff here in their own end. Slides it diagonally to Moore. And now it's over to Fiala. Turns it over. Poked away by Doughty. Centering feed. Moves it again. the pass. Good hit on the play. And now he moves it quickly to Yanmark. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Jocelyn for the puck and it's knocked away. Here's a short pass to Deneau. The Oilers get a hold of it. Edmonton's looking to break out. 
And it's a quick pass to Kane. Through center. He got all of that one. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. Nugent Hopkins is all skills. You know that back in the day, he's been working on it collectively, and it shows in his game. But right here, he just gets caught up in a tight space and loses the puck. And that goes off a player in front. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. And he slides it quickly to Capricorn. And that ricochets off a twig in front. Tries to get it over to Perry. Shot! Picked up along the wall by McLeod. Chance in front! Great save from in tight. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. The Oilers lead here in the second period, and they have been the more active team offensively. And they win the draw here in their own end. Edmonton's got control of it now here in the offensive end. LA's got the puck along the boards. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. Does it again with the stop. Lots of time left in this period. 3-2 is where we're sitting. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Moves the puck along the half wall. McDavid's been so dangerous tonight, James. He scored the go-ahead goal, and he's got the puck on his stick now. Grabbed along the boards by Kopitar. Sends the pass over. Los Angeles looks to go on the attack. He grabs the puck here at the point. There's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. Nearing the midway mark of the period, we got a tie game. Gagne's won the draw. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. Excellent stick work on the play. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. And they take possession off the draw here at their own end. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. The Oilers get a hold of the draw. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Won the draw. Picked up along the boards by Muvarare. Quick pass to Lazat. Edmonton's got the puck now. Looking for space inside the D zone. Puts it on net. Only oh, just got enough of that to keep it out. win the faceoff. From the point, looks to make something happen. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Moves it to Kellyev. Deep inside the D zone, he'll take a moment here with the puck. And now it's grabbed by Kellyev. Moves it quickly over to Lewis. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Gains the zone. Quick feed to Perry. Off a stick. Slides it across to Kavrikov. Sends a pass over. Into the offensive zone. Throws it in. Bouchard's lugging the puck. 
Dreisaitl's got it against the boards. Puck scooped up by Byfield. Forces the turnover. Handles the pass. Passes ahead from the right side. Fires it! And there it is, stopped by Talbot. Here's a blast! Quick pass to Kaprikov. L.A.'s gain the line and into the zone. The Kings gain possession along the wall. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Still lots of time left in the period. It's all tied up. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Great heads up play with the stick by Echo. Who's the puck? Dreisaitl has already got three points in this game, James. Really leading the way offensively. And you have to wonder how many more he's going to get if he continues to handle the puck the way he is. And some good footwork to kick it away. Here's a short pass to McDavid. The Oilers looking against the half wall. Los Angeles looks to get things going now with the puck. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Moves it to Yanmark. Fires it on net. Oh, what a save on the clapper. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Past the midway mark in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Edmonton's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. Picks off the pass. Carries it in. Edmonton's got the puck. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Fantastic save! Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly. You've sent an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. Well, the coach is going to like this goal. It's all about the effort and habits, not turning away from the net after the original shot, James, but continuing to track it and able to deposit in the net. The Oilers have gone in front by one here in the second period. Yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset when you're ahead by one in a very close deadlock game, James. Now they got to push the pace, put the pedal to the metal, and try and figure out a way to cash in again. Sends it out in front. Takes a shot. Nice save from point blank range. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Moves it to the middle, and that chance is blocked. Here's a shot. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. The Oilers are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals, and they lead in the second. McLeod's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Answered the call there. Receives the pass. Los Angeles plays it along the boards. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Looks to pass it to McLeod. Looks to get the puck over to Deneau. The Kings carry it along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Deneau. The Oilers have it now. Passes it to Fogel. Takes a shot. Blocked in front. Los Angeles moves it ahead. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Skinner's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. More than half the frame has been played here. Edmonton's clinging to this 4-3 lead. Los Angeles goes to work in the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Echo. Through pass ahead. Moves it quickly over to Fiala. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. And he slides it quickly to Spence. Oh, just a great heads up play by Dreisaitl. Sometimes when you're losing, you can get caught up over trying here, James, and this is a product of him mismanaging the puck. Sometimes you gotta keep it simple and just get the puck going the other way. Oh, what a save in front! Talbot made himself look big on that save and almost made it look easy. That's a high shooting percentage shot because it's coming from a great A scoring area. 
The Oilers have been rewarded for all their scoring chances tonight as they carry the lead late in this second period. Kopitar's won the faceoff. Los Angeles has the puck. Here's a shot. Turns him away. Quick pass across to Dreisaitl. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Feeds it over to Turcotte. The Kings move to the offensive zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Dayarnay. Nice zone entry on the left side. Scooped up along the wall by Kopitar. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Now a quick pass to Roy. And he takes the feed. Puck picked up by Gavrikov. How did he stop that one? Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. And there's a violent collision. And look at that. They finally get it out. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Picked up along the wall by Yanmar. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Edmonton's in now. Sends it in deep. The Kings gain control of the puck against the wall. Loses his balance on the play. Quick pass to McLeod. With the stop. stages of this period fans have been treated to a fun one tonight lots of offense it's 4-3 uh, Gagne's won the face off here in the offensive zone here's a short pass to Nurse the lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked textbook poke check by Nurse moves along the blue line taken by Deneau Los Angeles has it in the defensive end Fialo's got the puck. Slip feed. And that one's denied. From the point, they take control of it. And they continue to apply pressure here. Angles it over to Dowdy. Makes the save. Let's it fly. Denies him again. What a great job of tracking the puck up. One by two consecutive saves. We've played now 40 minutes in this one, and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack, because the third period is just around the corner. If you'd like to rub shoulders with some of our players, don't forget to go to our website and check out our next charity event. Period number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. It's been a throwback to 80s hockey here, and we are underway here in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Oilers are leading in the third period in this high-flying affair, but the question is for how long, James? This has been an action-packed, back-and-forth offensive nightmare for the goaltenders. The Kings grab possession to the puck. Los Angeles looks to break out in their own end. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Skinner. Works it across to Turcock. Center and feed. Can't connect on the play. Great pressure on the offensive end by Byfield. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done that here. Knocked away by Mudarare. Looks to make a play over to Dowdy. Across the line from center. Center and feed! And that shot's blocked. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Nugent Hopkins has it along the boards. Shot! Comes up with the glove save! We're still in the early stages of this period. The Oilers have just had a little more offense than their opponents tonight. They lead it 4-3. Puck grab by Roy. Oh, quick save. Handles the puck. Moves 
it to Roy. with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. And off the draw, they kick the puck. And now he moves it quickly to McLeod. And the lane's caught up walking that. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. He does a great job of having sound position to play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. LA's got it against the boards. Goes right to the crease. Decides to think about it. Grabbed along the board by Dubois. Oh, tremendous save on the one-timer. And it's a quick pass to Perry. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. LA's got the puck along the wall. And he makes the save, and that had some hot sauce on that one. Moves it quickly over to Lissot. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Kulak. Quick feed to Brown. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by England. Rocks him on the play. Along the half wall with the puck. Big time blocker stopped by Talbot. Taken along the wall by Kalia. Bats it down out of midair. Let's it fly from the point. Oh, a true warrior to block that. Great defensive effort with the stick. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. LA's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the stretch pass in the open ice. Hyman scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Quick pass to Hyman. And that's blocked away. Scooped up along the wall by Mubarare. The Kings take it across the blue line. And that's deflected. Point blank stop by Skinner. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Good use of the body on the play. That opportunity is rejected. Right in front of the official's eyes, and the hand is in the air. The Oilers are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. They'll go back to work on their special teams. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Edmonton's taking possession in their own end. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Kings gain control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Spence. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. The Kings are getting two minutes for tripping. step inside the face-off circle. Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Eckholm's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Drives to the paint. Oh, it's denied by Talbot. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Tries to feed it over to Bouchard. Takes the 
Griffey. Let's see the call here. The Kings have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. Face-off coming up here. We'll have a little four-on-three. Four on three, what a huge opportunity here. The ability to move the puck, create open lanes, and look for that one-timer. Here he is in front! Scores! A power play goal puts them in front. Well, and this was a huge opportunity that they took advantage of, James. They were urgent on the puck, but they also showed poise and patience. Power play strikes, James, and that's excellent movement along the perimeter and just waiting for your time to get it to the middle of the ice and execute. That's a great slot shot. The Oilers have a critical one-goal lead here in the third. Cheryl, what's the strategy now? Well, there's a couple of them, and I like to press because I think it's really important. That's how you got the lead, but you have to be very mindful. When the puck turns over, you have to get back to the middle of the ice and certainly protect. And that pass attempt is deflected. They clear the zone. Clouds looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. LA's won the faceoff deep in their own end. And he coughs it up with the pass. No room for that one to get through. Scores! There it is on the power play. Their power play has been really efficient tonight, James, and they're really gaining momentum off of it. And often when you're drawing this many penalties, teams start to play different against you. It might be his first goal this season, but he had plenty last. I mean, he was the MVP and the Hart Trophy winner last year, and you know he's going to be happy with that today. The Oilers are all smiles on the bench now here in period number three, holding down a two-goal lead. Well, it's been a competitive game, and now they sit in control here with that two-goal lead, James, in the back half of the third period. Now it's about managing the puck. I expect them to play a little safer, but expect a push from their opponent. From Clark Black, spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Here's a chance! Big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. And there's the save of the play. And coach the puck loose. Scores! And there's the hat trick, and this place is silent. Well, he's licking his chops when he goes on the road, hey, James? And he gets his hattie. I mean, he's been feeling it, but when he's on the road, he's something else. The Oilers are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving and holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. Los Angeles gets the puck near the boards. Good hit on the play. And he slides it quickly to Gavrikov. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Moves it to Turkov. Denied by the goaltender. No way for that shot to go through. Edmonton's laying a pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, bottom knee, trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. Look out, here they come on the attack. Trying to pick the corner of this today. Oh, and there's so many things that he does well here, James. He fights for the interior of the ice, and he gets a great look and just misses one. Picked up by Perry. They got a two-on-one. Let's it go. Los Angeles with possession in their own zone. Moves it quickly over to McLeod. 
Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. Edmonton's been going in one direction all night long, and that's to the net, and they lead it in this third. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Oh, hello! Comes up with the puck with a quick steal. Nice flick of the stick. And now it's turned away. Whistle will get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Both teams readying here for the face-off. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Skinner's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. The Oilers are in the home stretch of this one, leading big time in the third. The Kings will go to work here in the offensive side. Stoppage and play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face-off. The Oilers have been the busier team in the shot department, and they lead it late in this third period. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Fires it into the offensive zone. Slides it diagonally to Dubois. Slides the puck over. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Centering pass in front, and that goes off a stick. Skinner's gonna hang on for a whistle. Win the draw, now let's see what they can do with it. And a quick save on that one. Skinner's been really sharp tonight, James. Oh, a spectacular save right there, wow! Unbelievable, I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. And he takes the feed. And that's poked away by Kulak. Quick feed to Kane. It away in his own end. LA's got the puck in the defensive end. Now over to England. Quick pass to Fiala. And he makes the save. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Standing by with her thoughts on who had the edge tonight, it's our own Carlin Bates. Nick Davids helped his team out by getting in on the scoring. He's had the stronger performance, in my opinion, guys. Picked up along the wall by Mubarare. Here's a short pass to Kopitar. Long save! Quick reflexes on the play. Moves it to Hyman. Oh, and it goes off the glove and he keeps it out. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Picks off the feed. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Centering feed! We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. McDavid's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes the feed. LA's ready to go on the attack. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. The Oilers pick up steam and are on the attack. Kulak's gonna play it against the half wall. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Turcotte. Quick feed down low. Here's a chance. Too many bodies in the way. Quick pass across to Perry. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Poked away in the neutral zone by Perry. A great team effort, and they're moving on as a result. Shot, big save right at the end. Here's a change. The Oilers are just minutes away from closing out this blowout. They have had plenty of scoring opportunities and have maximized most of them. That's it, the final horn, not just for the game, but for the series, because they're moving on. Dominant 
performance from start to finish in this series. Cheryl, coming into this series, we heard a lot of the finish your checks, finish your checks. They certainly did that in a big part while they're moving on. Yeah, and it's all about closing quickly on your opponent, being first to the pot, hounding it. I mean, this is playoff hockey. You want to move on. You got to get to the greasy area. Your work boots on. Hope you had as much fun as we did bringing you the action here from all of us at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. Peace.